Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 33 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field dance. There we need to determine the electric field dance at one corner of a square. And the side length for square is given. And also another three corner is occupied by charges with equal uh, charge quantity Q. And then this is, we call this one is Q1, Q2, Q3, right? And the charge it occupied, it carry is Q. Now we can see um, at this corner, the electric field does come from the three part, right? The E1 from the Q1, E2 from Q2, E3 from the Q3. And because this is a particle charge, so electric field does just uh, 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 pointing out right radically outward so we look at the q1 it is radically outward just the horizontal to the x direction positive x direction and then the distance between q1 and the location is just l so we can write it as t q l squared i agree now we look at the charge 2 q2 q2 we can see the distance between the charge and the location is squared 2L because this side length is L, this is L for a triangle. So this side length is squared 2L and we squared it, we can square it so it becomes 2L squared, right? 2L squared. So it becomes Q, Q, 2L squared. Now we look at direction. The direction is radically outward, so it is just moved outward with the angle 45, de 45 degree uh, with the x direction. So now we can project the E2 in the x component and the y component. Projected in the uh, x component and the y component, so we have sine 45 degree, sine 45 degree i and cosine 45 degree j. The next one is about E3. So we can see E3 is uh, radically outward, so that means it pointing to the positive y directions. So dry right there. And also it is key, Q. The distance between the Q3 and the location is L, so it is key, Q, L squared, dry. Now we need to find the electric field at this position. So that means we need to do addition for three vectors, E1, E2, E3, so we add them together. And then we just uh, input E1, E2, E3 uh, inside. And then we do this calculation, get the answer there, right? So the I component plus the I component, J component plus the J component. And we can see for this E, the X component equals to the Y component. So we can find the electric field dense for E, for this E the vector e, so ex squared plus ey squared squared, and get the answer there. And also we can find the angle, the qe as arctangent ey over ex, as we know there, the ex just equal to ey. So that makes the angle becomes a 45 degree. Thank you.